Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last we left off, we found those sneaky sneaky Turkin who only exist at nighttime because during the daytime they fade out of existence into another plane of existence, I guess. I used the word existence twice. Hello, Petal. Everything should be fine now. What? You cracked the case? Well, don't keep it to yourself. Spill it. Nia says here's the thing way too much. So it was Turkin that did it with a bow. Whoa. Old man Nathius made that wire extra strong, so it's kind of incredible a bow would do it in. Awesome job, everyone. I'll let Chief Avon know that the case is done and dusted. Yeah, nice and dusted. Everyone uses that phrase. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward for apprehending the perps. Yeah, you better. Completed. I was told, by the way, first of all, I was given a lot of information in general, so thanks to all of you who are leaving tips and stuff in the comments. I do assure you I read all of them. I don't always remember all of them because I have a horrible memory and there's a lot of info to absorb for a game like this, but I do very much appreciate it. And the other thing I was going to say is, is that apparently all blades, or at least rare blades in particular, I think they said just rare blades, have side quests associated with them and whatnot, or unlock other side quests and other such things. So I am going to try my best to get every single blade in the game, even the one blade that has been a little controversial in its design, which, you know, we'll talk more about that when I get to that blade, if I ever do. But yeah, that is the plan for that. What was I going? I wanted to do more side quests today, I think. And knock out more of those. We should go help Electra because she's being a nerd. Let's... I have to take stuff back to you. Amon, we, that's the main quest, and I want to do that right now. What is your deal again? What do you want me to do? Go look for Seorge the Carpenter's son, Polly, who went on an errand and still hasn't returned. Now, yeah, it seems easy enough. Where, oh, where... Would your son, well, your son would be way over this way, actually. So let's go find his son. Oh yeah, his son definitely looks like he went somewhere he shouldn't have gone. Can I see? No, can't see it yet. Still pretty far away. It does actually hurt my eyes every time I turn on the map to the full screen, but I can't <gasps> deny that it is useful to have that capability. What have we here? Because sometimes it can really make a difference in locating something when the compass just isn't good enough still further, huh? Oh, there's that level 80, yeah, 81. Let's not bother him. I also don't think we're going closer to the Soros we saw before, but I'm pretty sure it's right around to the right here. Definitely want to make sure we don't trigger him, because that would be horrible, as you might expect. Huh. The kid is, like, right over here. Oh, he's right here. I keep forgetting to turn the uh, mini mini map uh, back on. Huh. Is he being assaulted by all these fools? I want to get up here and get this collection point. Ah, never mind. St stay back! Stay back! Oh, he's all the way up in that tree. Apparently, some Gormadis are, like, more animalistic than others. I thought that it would I'm just be... No, why are you, why are you locking onto that? This right here. Attack this. Dinner. This is what we want to attack. Yeah, as I was saying, apparently some Gormati, like, have full-on fur and stuff, it seems like. I thought that they would all be like Nia, who just has cat ears. Take this, people. Someone also pointed out that when I died earlier in, like, two or three videos ago against that bird, and I got really mad against the bird because I hate birds, probably the main problem was the fact that I tried to take on a level 18 when I was four levels lower, and that apparently... Although it isn't as big of a deal as it was in Xenoblade X, thankfully. The size of an enemy does have some level of application in this game. So if you run into an enemy that's fairly big, and you're the same level at it, or the same level at it, same level as it, it's probably still significantly way stronger than you because of the size alone. And that bird was pretty big. It's not as, it doesn't do that as much as it did in Xenoblade X, where, you know, if you saw an enemy that was like twice your size, it was basically twice your level as a result. Do but it does have I some level of effect, so that's good to know. Yeah, nice and burning sword. Tear it apart. Am I the only one who feels like sometimes the high-level arts don't do enough damage? Maybe it's because blade combos are supposed to be where you get your big damage from, and not so much the other things. 
Like, using a level 4 art is cool and all, and does some good damage, but if you really want high damage, you gotta go with blade combos. I think that might be the case. Yeah, beating is one. We also need to do the crystal things. We need to get those set up right. That's another problem all sorted out. Indeed it is. I, uh, thank you very much. I was picking Confusion Ivy, and then I sort of, well, stepped on some monsters. You stepped on those giant apes? How? Good thing I'd been practicing all that tree climbing. Yeah, lucky you. My dad said what? Oh, oh no, why do is dad, like, is that normal for some part of the world that I'm unaware of? Oh no, I have to hurry up and collect what I came for. Perhaps I should let Poppy handle this one herself. Yeah, maybe. I think so, just about. Here I, ow! I think I just twisted my ankle. D you're just standing there? How did you twist it? Man, what do I do? Dad can't fit, I'm not saying da, I'm gonna say dad. Dad can't finish his work without the Confusion Ivy. I'd like to, oh great, we've turned this quest into yet another collectathon. How many of the, it feels like every side quest we've gotten so far is all about collecting things. You're gonna help? Gee, thanks. We should be fine with uh, seven more bits of Confusion Ivy. Isn't Confusion Ivy rare? If you look near trees, you'll find it in no time. Ivy grows up trees, you see? That makes sense, I guess. How much, I have four, so I need three more. Rip. Hopefully this right here gives me some. This is stone. This is not at all going to be the ivy that I require. I kind of figured it would be stone, but part of me was hoping against hope. Do I have to come talk to you once I get it? Thanks for your help. Yeah, dad, yeah, whatever, whatever. All right, well, I'm not gonna bend over backwards to go find this confusion ivy. We will find it as we go, hopefully. Or if worse comes to worse, I'll get it off screen later. Right over here is a collection point next to a tree. Let's see if we can just grab it right here. And then we'll also go ahead and change our quest to the Electra one. Let's go take care of Electra's shenanigans next. Come out, come out. Come on, Confusion Ivy. I think Confusion Ivy is r fairly rare. I know it comes, I'm pretty sure it comes from the pink, whatchamacallit. So let's do, go for it, Electra. Let's get this one. Electra just wants to be useful, but she despairs when she cannot control her power. Where did she run off to? Let's find out. She's going to give us a lot of gems for this. We still have one question mark thing here, by the way. I mean, we're still fairly early in the game, all things considered. Did I switch my objective like I meant to? Yeah, catch up with Electra somewhere in Gormont. So she's down in that way. Is that the level 81 right there? Yeah, it is. I finally understand how to turn off the lock on. You just hold the lock on button, which is R and then press B. Oh. I thought all you had to do was press B. Not the case. Glad I figured it out. Where is she at? I thought that she was further up that way, but I guess not. Uh, she's still pretty far away from Torgal. She's just more in this direction. I see now. Is that her right there, that blinking? Nah, that's too far away. It's gonna be like right here, ish. Electra. Now she's over there. She's a nippy little one, isn't she? Sure, but we've got to go after her before we lose sight of her. I know, I know. She'll probably be bawling her eyes out again. Hey, worry about her. Yeah, come on. Let us proceed. Quest has been updated. This is basically just a chase Electra around mission. Got it. I do, at one point, if the game lets it happen, really want to be able to talk with the Continent Titans. Are they able to talk? Because that'd be sick. If we could get up to the heads of them and speak with them. Since the Titans are apparently sentient. The Titans in the first Xenoblade weren't sentient, were they? How much further is she going to keep running? That girl's got enough energy to run the length of the Gomorti Titan. She must be really upset to be running around all over the place like this. Yeah, and we'd better find her quickly and help her out, the poor thing. Right, so let's just keep following her then. Oh, hey, it's day now, in case you were curious. We can totally kill this thing. Yo, sad Bernard, I'm gonna end your sadness right now. In the worst way possible. Time to go, buddy. This is a sick looking enemy. Look at this guy. 
Yeah, get eagle eyed, you nerd. I want to get behind you if possible. Standing up on this rock will do nothing for you. I will be the victor. Let's see if we can get some combos going. So what we can do, let's do fire, water, fire. We're going to do that one. Because that one relies on me getting the final combo. The earth one relies on, what's his face here? Tora getting the final combo. And I don't trust him. All right, here you go, here you go. Level one, fire. I was also told that even if the little bar gets down to like 0.1%, as long as you press the button to have them attack before it runs out, you will get the combo. So there's no worry of like, oh, it's a 10% on the heat bar left. I need to use Steam Bomb now so it has enough time to proc. That is not how it works, apparently. Can you please get your Steam Bomb ready though? Like, come on. I know you can do it. There you go, Steam Bomb. Go ahead and do it now. I'm almost to level 3. They get watered on you, nerd. Alright, we have our level 3. We're in gold mode, so we can get our level 4, so let's just go ahead and get that. And then we will use the level 4 to annihilate Sad Bernard. Alright, time to make you super sad. And you better be. Burning sword for the win. Steam explode. Oh my goodness. That was so much damage. Alright, that went incredibly well, I would say. Hey, don't turn towards me. Alright, Tor, if you're ready for everything, then uh, go ahead and use Earth Attack. Oh no, we attracted more of these things. Less than ideal. JPEG. Take that, you fool. I didn't realize there was an Earth Earth Electric we could do once we get Electro back. Alright, level 2 fire. That's Uriel. Probably should have waited to give him more time to get to Mega Eruption, but you know, whatever. This thing's almost dead anyway, so we have got it in the bag, I think. Although it would be nice to use Mega Eruption to finish you off, like, right now. But I have a feeling that Tora is not going to be ready for Mega Eruption for a little bit here. You're so close to dead. Please just go down. Don't, who even needs Mega Eruption? Just die. I said just die, Bernard. Your sadness can end right here. Just let me finish you. You're done. You're, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Make sure I pick all this up. Tons of cool wolf shoes. Nice. I'm all set. The music really calmed down for a second there before picking back up. More common core crystals. Which I don't think really matter. This thing is only level 8. Why am I even bothering? I mean, there's really no reason not to as so long as we're right here. Please die to this. Nope, you actually took it incredibly well. Get anchor shot at you, nerd. Level 3 fire. And then. I pressed it way too early. I'm bad. It's fine. It's dead anyway. Why not? Have you considered taking the lead sometime, Ira? I'll think about it next time, Deserta. People might look at you funny, though, so watch out. Why would people look at her funny? I mean, they would look at look at her funny for certain reasons that do not have to do with her ever leading the party. That would not be the reason people would uh, look at her funny. But, you know, whatever. Come out, come I'm just going to keep hitting up these collection points as we go, which is what we've been doing anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying it like it's something different. I would really like to find the last three Confusion Ivy we need, though. We could knock that out today as well. Was kind of hoping this blue one was a signature enemy, but whatever. How far did Electra go? Also, I think that's a collection point next to a tree base there, which means there is a... What is... What is that? Looks like I need a specific cloud tide to get to that, maybe? I think I could just make the jump, and I'm going to do it after I hit up this collection point. What have we Electra is really close, though. Flora heals an aching soul. Alright, apparently Flora heals an aching soul, by the way. Not what I was hoping for there, but items are items. Let's get to Electra really quick, because she's right here, and I might screw myself over by making this jump. Come and on, then after that, we will go back and try to make that jump. Come on, Confusion Ivy. No, I don't think I got any Confusion Ivy there. I didn't see any, at least. Electra! We finally caught up with you. Please, don't come near me 
okay? I can't control my own power. I can't help it. I just end up zapping everyone. That's as may be. But don't worry about it. Your power is a massive help to us. He's right. It certainly doesn't matter to me. R really? No word of a like it. You still have much growing to do. Perhaps a little training is in order. Training? That good idea. You must connect with your powers and, in doing so, learn how to better control them. And then, you won't accidentally shock people anymore. You won't hurt anyone ever again. No more random shocks, especially not for me. Wow! Maybe you're right! Thanks for the advice, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm going to train as hard as I can. I'll get this power under control. You'll see. I owe you guys big time. Oh, stop it! Wrecked. All right, cool. We got her back then. Is she automatically? Yeah, there we go. Cool. I need to also buy, whatchamacallit, it's, why is the Argentum Trade Guild on the map to the right? What's up with that? And it has an X on it. That's weird. We need to go buy more salvage cylinder thingies. Most definitely. I keep putting that off. Really, we just need to, like, go and do, what is my current objective? Speak to people in each region, region to raise Electra's Lord of Thunder Power to level 5. That sounds very... Oh, no. Okay, we're oh. fine. Sounds very complicated and probably something I don't really need to worry about right now. Does it want me to go to Argentum? Is that why it's on the screen there? All right. All right, all right, all right. We're going to do this. Pyra already fell off the edge because she's dumb. We're not going to make it. Nope, not making it. No way. Oh, well. Rip. Down we go. Whoa! Yeah, I was about to say, is it actually going to have me fall all the way down to the cloud sea, or no? Where does it put me after that? Does that count as a death? What happened? Master Pawn, you can do it. Yeah, I counted as a death. Where is... Hold up. First of all, come take out, this. Thank you for those. More oranges and whatnot. It looks like one of the things I need to talk to is in Torigoth. So let's go ahead and do that, I guess. And use skip travel. That, that's characters. Skip travel to accomplish it. Bum, bum, bum. Just take me to the entrance of Torigoth. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. We can walk from there. We do need to go to all these shops and buy stuff. So I may as well accomplish that at the same time. Let us go. Dward. Another thing I was told was to talk to everyone who has stars over their heads. I knew that they had somewhat unique info, but... I didn't realize it was such a big deal that they helped with, like, the growth of the area and all that. So we're going to talk to everyone that has a star. I heard that Titan battleship got attacked, and by a group of rebels trying to save that wanted girl, Nia, too. Yeah, that wanted girl. Nia, wherever would we run into her? They must be a force to be reckoned with. Even Morag, more our Dane's greatest driver, couldn't capture them. If she can't take them, there's nothing us ordinary folk of Torigoth can do. Just got to wait for this all to blow over. I only hope it doesn't get too out of control. Don't want the city getting damaged. Yeah, like, you know, a water tower being knocked over. That'd be really bad for the city. Yo, Madi, what's happening? One of the secrets of Gormadi Woodcraft is puzzle tree wood. Now this I have to hear, apparently. The rings of a puzzle tree's wood form the shape of a puzzle. Fun to play with as is, but also very easy to process. Here in Gormadi, we use puzzle tree wood for everything from groundhouses to tiny accessories. I don't know how do you get by without this stuff. All right, that's interesting. You can gather puzzle tree wood from a lot of trees around here, so try collecting it. It might come in handy. Why do you have an exclamation mark over your head? Thank you. It feels really great to see Tene smiling again. She's always been cheerful and kind, but also kind of stubborn. You're the person who told me to buy from that one shop. I remember this. I know she doesn't need her old friends like me uh, looking over her shoulder. She can stand on her own feet. I know this, but still. I can't help being a little worried, can I? I just wanted to give her a hand. Just a bit. With your help, I think she'll have found the confidence she needs to... She needs for the shop she inherited to thrive. All right, there you go. Oh, and also, you know it's just not Tenny Shop, right? Other businesses work much the same way. Buy every item they have, and they'll start offering to sell you their deeds. 
That seems like you shouldn't just be handing out your deeds to people, or not handing them out, but offering that to just people who happen to buy a lot of your stuff, but whatever. Buy that and you'll get a nice fat advantage, different ones depending on the shop. Now, uh, one word of warning though, it's not every shop that'll offer all their products from the get-go, few do in fact. In those cases, you'll have to raise the development level before they'll sell everything, letting you get the deeds. And sometimes, if they don't seem to offer the deeds no matter what, it's worth trying again in a little bit. Ah, ha, ha, sorry to keep you so long, I can stop being such a busybody now. You have my gratitude, thanks for everything. Yeah, sure. You're welcome, dude. Is that quest complete? Yeah, paying it forward. Complete. Easy. 30 SP is pretty nice. 